So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find back when intelligent transfer service, double click on it. Make sure that you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will now make the service status running. So make sure that you have automatic and running and then click on okay. Now we're gonna scroll down a little bit more till we find cryptographic services, double click on it, and then do the same thing. Startup type, automatic, click on start, which will now make the service status running, and then click on okay. And now for the last one, you wanna click on W on your keyboard. Now we're gonna scroll down till we find Windows Update. Here it is, double click on it. Do the same thing, startup type, automatic, click on start, which will make the service status running, and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator, and then click on yes. And then once we're on this, we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. And now we're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset, and click on enter again. And now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.